Stan and Rose Patterson had been living in Arizona for many years. Among their neighbors, they were considered a rather eccentric couple. They led a hermit life and did not tell anyone about their past. Rose worked as a nurse at a shelter for homeless people. Her appearance puzzled passers-by, as she was constantly wearing a mask that covered most of her face. Her husband lost both legs and had to use a wheelchair. It was rumored that he had lost limbs in a serious accident. Needless to say, there were a lot of rumors about this unusual couple. Only a few knew that Rose's face was covered with scars that she had received during the fire. The Pattersons had two children. Their daughter Maggie was born when both of them were already over 40, and a couple of years later, their son David was born. Stan and Rose loved their children very much, and although they lived in an atmosphere of joy and happiness, Maggie and David were a little embarrassed by their unusual parents. They often asked them why they looked like that. However, the Pattersons did not dare to talk about the event that had had such an impact on their lives. But this situation affected their relationship with children, and they gradually stopped being close to each other. When Maggie entered the university, she did not allow her mother to accompany her to the campus and visit her without a call. And soon David also left the parental home, so Stan and Rose were left alone. Over time, it became increasingly difficult for them to take care of themselves and keep the house in order, and their children visited them less and less. Stan died a few years later from a long illness. Mrs. Patterson called her children to tell them the news. However, Maggie said she couldn't help her with the funeral because she was preparing for her exams. David told his mother the same thing. The woman was completely alone. Rose died of grief and depression two years later. Her children did not even come to her funeral either. David and Maggie arrived six months later to sell their parents' house. But first they needed to fix it. They began to sort things out and throw away their parents' clothes and old furniture. But when they pushed back the antique closet, they saw that behind it was a door leading to some room. When they entered there, they saw a table with a shoebox. Having opened it, they found a gold medal and a newspaper clipping. When they read it, they both started crying. The article told about their mother's heroic act while she was studying in medical school. She saved several people from burning cars. A truck crashed into a bus driven by Stan Patterson, causing the bus to burst into flames. Being one of the passengers, Rose began dragging the others off the bus. She saved everyone, but at the same time received severe burns. Maggie and David realized that she had started wearing this mask since that time. She left the university, moved to another city, and began to live an inconspicuous life. A few years later, Stan found her. He was left disabled in that terrible accident. So they began to live together and soon got married. After learning about what had happened to their parents, Maggie and David went to the cemetery to ask for their forgiveness. They were ashamed of their mom and dad for so many years, not even suspecting what they had had to go through.